This problem sure can be tricky. Oftentimes, students will recognize it's probably a U substitution problem, but it's all the question about what to make as the U. Some people will say, okay, the U should be what's underneath the radical. And that's sometimes a good idea for some problems, but notice when you take the derivative with respect to x, you get a derivative of negative 2x minus 6, which does not appear anywhere in the problem. So that tells me that is not going to be the way that we're going to use this as a u substitution problem. In fact, it will require us to complete the square, and I think it'll look like this first arc sine problem, or we're going to be able to set it up to look like that arc sine problem. So the first thing this does require is it does require us to complete the square. I am going to factor out a negative one kind of over here to the side from x squared and 6x. Now I'm going to complete the square. To complete the square, I have to take the b value and divide it by 2 and then square that. And when I do that, I can see that to complete the square it requires adding 9. Well, I can't just go in and add 9 because that changes the problem, so I need to make sure to just go right back and subtract 9 so that essentially I'm only adding 0. So now I can rewrite this as a binomial squared or x plus 3 squared. That's what I just did with this trinomial right here. And then I have this minus 9, but I really didn't subtract 9. If you distribute back in this negative 1, you can see that that's actually a plus 9. And I'm going to rewrite this by flipping it around so it looks like 9 minus x plus 3 squared. Why did I do that? Because it'll now look like this form when I put it back under the radical. So let's take a look. I would have the integral of 1 divided by the square root of 9 minus x plus 3 squared. And I hope by setting it up that way, that'll help you identify your a and your u just a little bit easier. So we can see here that a squared would be equal to 9, therefore a would be 3. Furthermore, we can see that u squared is x plus 3 squared, so our u would be x plus 3. Taking the derivative of both sides with respect to x, I would have that. And then if I multiplied over the dx, we can see that du can simply be substituted for dx. All right, so now when I rewrite this integral, I can rewrite it as 1 over the square root of a squared minus u squared du. And hey, that looks exactly like this u substitution form over here for arc sine. So to integrate it, we would have arc sine of u over a plus c, and all we have to do is substitute back in our u and our a. So our final answer is arc sine of x plus 3 divided by 3 plus c. And that is how you solve this indefinite integral that looks a little bit tricky from the beginning. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this video useful, make sure to click subscribe right now so that you're notified as new videos are posted each week.